Hey, my dear friends. I'm going to read a few verses to you from the book of Colossians today. Colossians chapter 3, verses 1 through 10. Grab your Bible. Hit the pause button on your uh, phone or computer, whatever you're on. Pray and ask the Holy Spirit to tutor you and guide you and interpret for you as we read God's holy and errant word together. And as soon as you're finished, unpause it and listen and read along with me. Be sure you pray first. Ask Holy Spirit to tutor you as we read God's word together. I want you to get everything that he has to give you. And you can only do that when you're using the Holy Spirit as your interpreter. Don't try to interpret it by yourself. And certainly don't let somebody else interpret it for you. Let the Holy Spirit do the interpreting. Colossians chapter 3. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ setteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, not on things of the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ and God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. And even though the Bible doesn't need me to add anything to it, I'm going to add and lying. I get so tired of people telling lies about me. Lies that can be proven to be lies. But anyway, I digress. Verse 6, For which things sake the wrath of God cometh on the children of disobedience, in the which ye also walk sometime when ye lived in them. But now ye also put off all these anger. Put off anger. Don't be an angry person. Wrath malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth, lie, here we go, lie not one to another, seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds. Bam, y'all. And have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him, that created him. So if you hear somebody talking about somebody else, it's probably lies and it's probably slander. So don't pay attention to them. But this is 10 really good verses here. Let the Holy Spirit tutor you, not me. I'm not a teacher. I'm just an old bald-headed redneck that loves Jesus and shares Jesus' word. And I believe in the Holy Spirit. And I want you, like me, to use the Holy Spirit as our translator, our tutor, our interpreter. Don't let man do it. Let the Holy Spirit do it. That way you'll get all the goodness out of God's holy word that God wants you to have. All right, that's it for now, y'all. God bless you, my friends.